Yo, what's good? Yo, this is Top Dot um, Post Edit. Listen, um, this usually be audio. I mean, not audio. I'm sorry. Usually be visual podcast, but um, for some strange reason, I had the wrong cord recording on my camera. So I guess the data to the visual got corrupted. So I had to do a straight audio one. So this is the audio podcast. Me, my boy Pat Mac, my boy Gabe Crank. Featuring my cousin Brian Lindsay, aka Mo B. Um, hopefully, y'all enjoy this one. Let me know what y'all think, and next time I get it right. We out. Yes, sir. I know what it is, man. Once again, it's your boy, Top Dot, with guest. We back again. Yup. Just wanted to be a little bit dramatic. Y'all know what it is, man. This time, I got my cutty with me. Cut, cut, say what's up with it. What up, what up, what up, people? Yeah, it's my cousin Mo B from Chicago. So, and today, our podcast will be about family, how it matters, and values. So, me... I'm a very family oriented person. You know what I'm saying? We get uh we've been raised to respect our elders, you know what I'm saying? Regardless of uh, things they've been through and uh regardless of things that don't make them exactly perfect cuz no one is perfect. So we got we was always taught and raised to respect them and make sure that we don't disrespect. We was also raised to make sure that the ones that's younger than us know better than us so they don't make the same mistakes we did. So our people, uh, me and my cousin Moby, our people, uh, basically drilled in our heads that family is strength. If you lose, um, if you lose some family, it's always more that you can go ahead and link back on to. So you're never alone. But you can't let the outside forces kind of muddy, muddy the waters of. Uh, your family and the values, you know what I'm saying? That's how we was taught. And we was also raised in a Christian household, so we was smashed with those values as well. So we got a double dose of it. Um, and to me, family is important. And also, people that like you consider family, close, close friends, and folks that, that you mess with um, the long way, and you basically introduce them or bring them into your family, also, treat them the same way you treat your, your actual blood because a lot of those folks end up becoming real family in real life. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, Mo, what do you think about it? I mean, I, I definitely think family is important, you know, uh, because, you know, going through trials and tribulations throughout life, uh, most people turn it back on but family is still stay strong with you most, in most instances. Yeah. I ain't going to say so most instances, the people that be in your corner when you go through some adversity is usually your blood, like your mom, maybe yep. your pops, mm-hmm. your grand, your aunts, you know, people that you, you know, probably wasn't doing whatever you were doing to get into the trouble that you got into. Yeah. Them be the people. Yep, that would be. most the ones that have been around doing all the things to get you in jam or whatever. Yeah. 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 I appreciate family, you know? Yep. Yeah. 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 Y
say, um, I think people need to go through things. I think going through some sort of adversity feels scary. Mm-hmm. You need some uh, mental toughness. Well, I'm going to go through some mental toughness. Yeah. You need to go through some to know how to adjust, adapt, when things don't go your way. Cause, uh, so, our era was like a cop, so they had family, so the mom was uh, uh, with the Lord, the dad was the doctor. So that was the that was like the, uh, the fairy tale life. Yeah, it the, was. For the top of African American life. The fairy tale of his past, mom and his dad and now. So yeah. You got both of the household. That was like a gem. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So, you know, the mold and the shape of uh, us coming up. See, like, man, you know, you aspire to be like a cop. Yeah. Know? Try to get that family life. Yeah, you know, nice house. Everybody, you know, got their own home. That, hey, that was, that was definitely an honor. Uh, like, in the lotto, we had your own home. We had yeah. own home. We had five people. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, we sure would. So, so, but yeah, you know, I just think that going through something, you know, I got to mold to be, to be strong, guys. It's got to be tough, you know? Yeah. Because society, you know, they ain't, they not gonna, they not gonna, like, hold in. You gotta, you gonna either get with it or get lost. You know, whatever, whatever going on, whatever the way you do. Mm-hmm. To be successful. You don't get you done. You come, or you gonna get left behind, you know. Yeah. I appreciate being poor. You know, yeah. so I know like, how it feels. So I know I don't want to be that much. So I now so that I won't be poor. Yeah. Or I won't die. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You know that's what daddy. That's what daddy taught us. You already know. He's like, yo, you you could be poor when it comes to uh, physical money, but you could be rich when it comes in. Um, Family values, spirit, and all of that, and sometimes that translate into actual real life money too. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Uh, Gabe, what you? How you feel about uh, your folks and? Well, my family. I love my family. Uh, Always. Yeah, I mean, it's like it's like I had good parents. You know what I'm saying? I have both my parents. They still in my life still to this day. Mm-hmm. They still trucking. And they they reaching you know a certain age, and I see them now as okay now I gotta start you know taking more care of myself in order to help them. Out. Yeah, better take care of them. Yeah, you know what I'm saying because at the end of the day that's all you really have. Yeah. But and then somewhat sometimes family members can hurt you and all that you know. But truth, when the sun rises, you forget about all these troubles because they're the only people that you got. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I, I, I definitely value my Dominican family. You know, my, my one brother, my my sister, my mm-hmm. mom and my dad, and now we got, you know, nieces and nephews involved. So, I mean, I'm growing my, my, myself. Like your boy said, like your brother said, excuse me. You got to go through something. Yeah. It builds character. Yeah, it builds. And without, it's like, you know, you're going to need your ass whipped a couple of times. So, you know, a lot of shit could register. Yeah. And yeah, that's where family come in. You want to know how to fight, yeah. And they'll sit there and I'll tell you, this is for your own good, though, sometimes. They, they got to look at you and look the other way, but, and it's not because they want to, they got they had to, they got to teach you something. Yeah. You got to learn how to hold your own. Yeah. So, Pat, you, you hold any of those similar values or anything like that yourself, Pat? Uh, first of all, Pat, mate. Again. Oh boy. Uh, I'm gonna start off like I normally. Man, fuck that. <laughs> Get him with. Here you go. Yeah. I mean, I grew up, um, I'm older than you guys, so I grew up a uh, single mom. Yeah. Back in the day, mm-hmm. it was rough. And. Real hard. I, 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 you know, inside me, family value, but it wasn't like that a lot of times and shit. And let's be honest. We got family out there that don't like you, and they family. Mm-hmm. Sometimes True. family will stab you in the back worse than you're more friends with 
somebody you made friends with, mm -hmm. they seem like more family than and your own brother, family. than your actual family and stuff. And don't get me wrong, my mom was cool. My mom did what she could do. And it was just me and my brother. In fact, my dad stayed like, uh, and if we go by uh, up north terms, yeah, that's a what few trying. blocks around. Yeah, food box, yeah, food box down the street. Yeah, food box down the street. Mm -hmm. And all the time he would come through, he'd try to hit my mom. Yeah. Trying to see with that. No yeah. about that, man. He'd go a couple of dollars, kids, and stuff. Go, man. Oh, man. So, but I had my cousins. Um, So we would, get, you know, you get with your cousins. Um, I'm not, I'm, I'm not downing family value. Don't get that wrong and stuff. I mean, but everybody got their different thing about family value. You know what I did learn from it? Like you guys, not most, you know, like you try to make family everything. Yeah. I'm just saying sometime in that. Yeah. Sometime you just, you got to watch out for that cousin or that, that uh -huh. uncle mm -hmm. or whatever. Trying yeah. to, you know, just like throwing wrenches in your shit. Yeah, monkey wrenches. Yeah, and stuff. But is it value wise and stuff? I mean, I'm, I mean, I always try to look at the. I try to look at the positive, but I'm aware of all the negative shit about it. Yeah. Yeah. You catch what I'm saying, cuz? Yeah. You see, you, you, you. Um. How you feel about that, Mo? Cause sometimes. It's definitely a flip side coin. Yeah. Cause sometimes. Go ahead, go ahead, bro. Oh, because you know sometimes family be the first one to fuck you. Because sometimes you could be, I've been, you can be out, and then you hit family up, and the family be the first one to tell you, no, I can't do that. You can't stay here, or you can't like. But you can go to one of your homeboys, and they like they mom and, and shit or or whatever. Your friends are like, man, come on, you can crash here, or mm -hmm. oh, I got you. I had but that your pockets weak. Man, damn, I ain't got but ten dollars, nigga, but you can get five. But you can get five of yeah. But you can go to certain family members. Now I ain't saying all my family are like I'm just basically I I grew up. Mm. But at the same time now, I don't want to discourage nobody to say about you know, family value ain't there. Mm -hmm. At the same time, it was though at certain points when you when family did come mm. through. It just in my the situation, clutch. they came through when your shit was good, but when your shit was fucked up. Yeah, you just yeah. fucked up. Figure it out. And and one thing I can say about my mom, and my mom was hard, and then she had to be to a certain extent because it was just her mm -hmm. and me and my brother. And it, it, you know, it's hard to raise boys. Yes, it is. You know, for for a female and shit, because you got to be the the mom and the dad and everything else and stuff. Yeah. Not that me and my brother were bad kids, we weren't. No. But did we get in shit? Well, hey, there you go. We all do. We all gonna get in some shit. Yes, we is. And and and, but so the value I learned from that and stuff is sometimes you you really gotta look out for you. Yeah. Not in a nasty way, like well, fuck all of my family, fuck everybody, because you got a lot of shit you gotta look over because sometimes family got their own shit. Different yeah. family parts got their own shit mm -hmm. going on. You know, mm -hmm. but um, not saying I don't. Uh, I I do value it. I mean, because you 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 got to look at shit in a different way and stuff. Gotcha. Especially if you're trying to move on, and you want to get your own family. Yes. I learned true. not to do what my family. You know, at certain points in your family, you're like, yeah. well, I learned that yeah. ain't. Yeah, I'm not gonna that. act like that. Yeah. It's um, not worth know, it. I got my son, and and and, and I, I was hard on him. Because he's a boy, but at the same time, I understand you got to go through shit. Yeah, and and you know, family is difficult, but you gotta love them. Yeah, and even if you don't like them, yeah, love <laughs> you still yeah, love them. at least love them because yeah, like, because like, sometimes they need that. Yeah, because like um, like Pat was saying um, and how I'm saying I, I agree with all the terms of it because you got some people. That's family that you can invest in. And you got some people that you already automatically know. You can't tell a secret to because they can't hold oh, water. They, they, exactly. And in, in the name of being a cup. And then you have um, family members that um, will take secrets to the grave with you, with, with them. And then you got family members that will tell it the instant that you uh, let it go Shit. out your mouth. 
Tell your mom. Tell your neighbor. Everybody. Tell, yeah. Tell them. But but that's yeah, but that's family. Yeah, that's family. So everybody. And let's let's agree. I know everybody agree. Cuz on the phone. Everybody got that one drunk uncle. Oh man. That come to the party. <laughs> he ain't even a party, but he coming over. Fuck ass up. And you, hey Mo, we know who and, that. And sometimes he gonna say some shit. Hey Mo, we know who that uncle was, don't we? <laughs> I know that. Yeah, we so know who that. You uncle can't let was. him know a damn thing. Yeah, shit. boy, then I see you. Wasn't that a hoe you were talking to? Boy. Man, that was my girlfriend. Why, right you know? Well, I know somebody paid her twenty five dollars and shit because she's a cheap hoe. She's a cheap. <laughs> so, so Mo, what do you, what, what um, what do you think about the other side of the coin when it comes to? the family that you can't, you know, that we can't depend so much on or put too much uh, faith or value in? Yeah, I mean, there's definitely, there's definitely a two-sided coin. He, he, hit, the, he hit the hammer on, I mean, the nail right on the head. Because mm-hmm. he got, that you don't, you know, man, don't even approach them. Like, cut you off what i'm finding out family value is what you make of it so sometimes you're not learning from your family you learning from your 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 own mistakes mm-hmm. your, actions your own actions of what and you got to be you know and you got to depends on how you receive it to yourself because some people take that shit and take like your father not being there mm-hmm. as a total negative and run always on the negative yeah well, right. shit, my name, I don't, but so you got to be able to take that and flip it to go like, well, am I going to be that kind of person? And I'm going to be like this and stuff. So, I mean, at the end of the day, fam, family do teach you shit. Yes. It just all depends on how you take those lessons and make it work for you. Yeah. And that's what, yeah. um, that's the most valuable right. thing when you take it. Like that's the, that's the, um, that's the values that a lot of, Street knowledge can't teach you. A lot of uh, television can't teach you. Newspapers, none of that. Exactly. That's the actual core values that you have to learn in order to become uh, more progressive as a family, as your family. You know, um, a lot of folks out here, um, they like to, to shuck and jive when it comes to family values because most of them don't be adamant uh, about the love that they got for their family. It's just that they can use them for something and doing something um, in turn to you know basically um climb up the mountain while they push the other person down the hill exactly like that um one crab trying to crawl up the goddamn mm-hmm. crate and mm-hmm. get all the mother crabs and see so that's just sometimes but let me ask you guys this and she let me ask you well you you know y'all guys are younger and stuff like that and i'm talking to you too cuz my thing is as i see these younger people now it's like they are totally devoid yeah. Of family value, or they don't care, and I'm, and some people say it's because it was uh, the the babies having babies. Mm-hmm. So because you know we got mamas out here that like forty or thirty eight, and they kids are already nineteen and shit like that. Oh, I mean, I, I mean, so you think about how old they were and stuff like that, 
and they buck wild and they're like they are totally void. It is it, it, it's, it's, it's the it's uh, the um um the the black hole, and these guys don't have no they don't have no sense. I mean, come on, and I'm bringing this shit up too, man. We talking about family battles, family battles like that, like this. Why are you still walking around with your pants off your ass? That ain't no swag. Nobody doing that no more. No, that's Did your mom and dad not tell you, boy, pull up your goddamn pants? Yeah. And when I see these little kids, babies walking around, you got them walking around with their pants off their ass. What are you trying to show? I know it ain't really got nothing to do, but I think no, I'm going to coincide with the same shit. Because somebody family. have to tell you, hey, yes. you know, that, that where where's where, that that yeah. don't make you look like you something? Yeah, where, where's your where's your fucking where's your, your pride about dignity? Yourself? Yeah, your pride. Yeah, with your, your last name. You didn't name. get that from your you know that make your parents look really fucked up. Like really, yeah, because so like, all we saw about OG is that you you wear your name. So whatever exactly. you, whatever you come out with, you wearing your name. So you if you your mom and them, what's your last name? Oh, your last name such and so. Yeah, we guess your whole right. family like this because that's y'all values that y'all looking like y'all teaching right now. Exactly, exactly. My last name, Mac. You know what it is. You know what it is. <laughs> so y'all, we go. <laughs> we'll go ahead and wrap this one up just a little bit early because you know family values. It's a it's a certain type of it's a certain road. And I gotta get some money to drink. Yeah, so <laughs> it's a certain road that that we can take down family values. You know, regardless of 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 how. Um, People treat their family. Just make sure you treat your family with a little bit of something. You got anything to add? Uh, more? A little bit of something. Uh, you got anything to add before we jump off? No, uh, I'm, I'm in the green. It's like, this, this, this was, uh, I can't see no wrong in the conversation. He touched on the point that I've been, and I've done so well. He gave a flip side. I like where his yeah. different uh, you know, point of view of Yeah, that's gonna be good. So yeah, so what do you think about the last little little wrap up, like your values and well, all of that? I mean, like we all, if you get taught any family values, then you should cherish it. That's to, you know, to top it all off, to put the nail in the coffin, mm-hmm. or whatever you want to say, because mm. it's it's a genuine thing. That's you only get taught that one time in your life. And you only got one life to live. You only got so, one. Uh, this new generation coming out and the way they do. You know, only thing we can do is pray for them and then keep it trucking because that's the best we can do. Best. And show them mm. some type of guidance. But if, you know, what they say, you, you, you can lead the horse to the water, but it's up to the horse to drink. It's up yeah. to them to drink it. So, y'all, you know we're going to end it with that note because that was, that was just enough knowledge to drop on y'all so it ain't too much for y'all. So, we want to thank y'all once again for joining That's Crew Podcast, a.k.a. NWI podcast, you know how we do. Our guest, Pat Mac, Pat Mac, my fault, and my my special guest, my cousin Mo B. We are gonna holler at y'all in Mo, the next call round. Me. Yep. Hey, call me again, bro. You call already me. know. Come in. Call me again. I'm always available. I'm make myself available. I love uh, healthy, constructive conversation, bro. Yes, already. So call y'all. Me the mind. Yes, let. Thing, bro. I appreciate it. You already know, cuz. Love you. So, with that, y'all, we signing off. Top Dot Podcast. We gone. Dot Street Podcast. Y'all know what I'm talking about, man. We gone.